Hi, this is Joanna, and this is 30 Days of Self Love. It's day 25, so we got five more days of 30 Days of Self Love. So, um, uh, if you've been keeping up with my cough, um, <clears throat> the, I went to the doctor, they said it's post nasal drip, so I should take some allergy medicine, um, which <coughs> I'm not a fan of, so I'm going to try the Master Cleanse because that just takes care of all the mucus ever so um i'm gonna try that and see how it goes uh, i'll start tonight um okay so that that's one way to take care of myself for sure um i've been coughing like crazy so today um well first of all last night i didn't get much sleep and then today i was kind of feeling out of sorts and then um trying to sleep on and off and then I talked to Rob all day and um and really we just came up with a whole bunch of interesting insights which were really great and um he's just such a great guy to talk to about all this stuff um but then I looked on Danielle McKinnon's page and she does something called soul contracts and and one of her thing is she she believes that we come in with these soul contracts. Sometimes we have them for lifetimes and they're just, I guess, you know, we decided a long time ago that it would be a great idea to learn about this or that or whatever. And then we never figured out that we have these soul contracts. And even though we might have kind of learned the lesson, it keeps on coming up again and again and again because we don't clear it. Um, cause who knew how to clear it <laughs> if you're just a regular person. And so, um, today on her wall, she just, she, <laughs> she was talking about something about soulmates and how you're never going to get your soulmate if you think that you're missing something. And she has said, it's actually a combination of different soul contracts that you have like unworthiness and being a victim and um and something else and and I, I should have written it down before I came out here to do this but um after I saw that I cleared it I used her clearing uh intention statement and I felt <laughs> well what I felt was pissed actually because <laughs> it's been so many years since I've felt a victim um, since oh this was the other one unless you have a partner you're never gonna be safe so you have to you have to find your soulmate in order to feel safe and if you've watched any of the videos of this series <laughs> that's my thing like being safe being loved <coughs> And so it was this soul contract. So it was so, I was so angry because I felt like I've been spending so much of my life being afraid and like needing a man. Like it was just, it was a necessity for me. And, um, and now I'm kind of like, oh, huh. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Maybe not. Um, <laughs> but when, when the anger settles down, I think I'm going to be feel more free <laughs> and more happy. I mean, I am happy today for sure. Um, and I feel strong. Like I feel really centered and really focused. And I like this whole 30 days of self love. Like I've been really focusing on myself and taking care of myself and I haven't been working with clients. I haven't been doing any, anything with others except for this um and maybe like cheering people on on facebook and stuff but like for my regular sessions i haven't been doing anything <coughs> because i think i needed this time to just take care of myself and to really go into it and see um but today i'm starting to feel it like i'm just like oh i haven't done a session in a really long time and there's something about sessions that are so great because it not only unlocks stuff for the other person, but there's stuff 
there's stuff that I'm able to channel um, through that is always good information for me too. So it's such a gift to be able to do a session for somebody because I always get this amazing information that comes through that doesn't necessarily come through when I'm just sitting in a room on the sofa by myself. And so I just miss it. And I miss being a contribution in that way, like in that just teleclass, one-on-one session way, because it's just so fun. I like interacting with people, and um, <clears throat> and I just haven't been. And so I'm very thankful for these these days that I've focused on myself and just really gave myself the love that I needed um, and allowed myself to cry my eyes out and <laughs> really go deep. I went freaking to the basement of, <laughs> of crap and um and I went there and I just you know dove in and I gave it everything and um and it was rough it was hard but like today I'm feeling super strong super good and I feel like um you know it's coming it's coming to a close which is good I mean we've got I guess I guess since this is 25 we have four more days after this um so I think these days are going to be about how do you transition from going into this deep self-love thing into getting back into the world. Because I don't want to go back into living my life for other people and never taking care of myself again. Like that's not going to work. And so I want to go into helping clients and helping people and be in contribution in the world um, in balance. So I really want to be able to take care of myself and and the people that I want to be a contribution to, um, but I want to keep that in balance. So I think these next five days is <clears throat> is going to be about really setting up um, something something to hold in place. These things that I do for myself, like all of the the self healing that I do and all the self love that I do for me, and being able to balance that with with doing clients so I think it's possible I mean that's it's totally doable people do it in the world so I think <clears throat> that's what I'm going to be setting up in the next coming um, the next coming days um, but you know every day is a new day and it's all different and things come up so um, who knows what will happen tomorrow stay tuned to find out <laughs> <clears throat> so thank you so much for um, tuning in and as usual i love you so much and i'm really glad you came to visit me and i will see you again tomorrow